What's up, crazy fam? Guys, listen up. In today's video, me and Genesis hopped into a private match and tested some exotic sidearms and one legendary sidearm. We wanted to test the range difference because at the end of the day, SMGs are going to be dealt with sooner or later. And you guys know how much I love sidearms. Even right now, I think they manage pretty well against SMGs as long as you manage to get into the optimal range. I use sidearms all the time while helping people in Trials of Osiris, and they are really, really good in general, and some of them are actually insane. So let's take a look at the range differences between these weapons and i'm also going to be making a lot of sidearm builds so stay tuned okay what's the range here can you 15 can meters 15 meters okay let me shoot that no no i i don't know why that okay 51 now it was a headshot it was weird so you said 15 correct yeah okay once again test now i'm going to move back what am i at now 16 okay okay so 15 meters is the max 51 damage and then at 16 it goes down to 50 which still is gonna be like four shots most in most cases now i want to check traveler's chosen okay it's max here i'm gonna move back what am i at now 17 still max here now 18 18 okay so it's a drop off uh, i'm gonna do it here still so two more meters what am i max. here 17 yeah yeah no it's already a fall off here what about now still 17 but a little closer okay so yeah around 16 and a half looks like where it is so it has a meter and a half over wrecking and then finally we have cryostasia the, the one that i want to test what are we at now 16 16 is 57 which is the max damage here uh 16 16 Okay, so it's 16 and a half, pretty much, somewhere like that, where it starts fall off. So both of these, right, Cryostasia and Traveler's Chosen, barely have a meter, meter and a half over Red King. Even though you, when you look at the stats, right, Red King's range is at 37 and Traveler's Chosen is at 85 and they're both 300s. That's kind of crazy, though. What about a fully crafted Drang, though? Let's test Drang. I have a fully crafted one. It's a good roll. What am I at now? Red. You're at 16 meters. Okay, this is max at 16. Gonna move back. Where am I at now? 17. Okay. That was still max damage. Do 18. Let me know when we're there. There. 18 is already fall off. What about now? 17. Yeah, 7. Yeah, you see one shot was 51. One shot was 50. So they pretty much cap around the same. Like, Traveler's Chosen... This is, this feels like it's like half a meter over Traveler's Chosen, but that's about it. So it's like, honestly, in my opinion, right? Like just from the stats alone and from like, let's say a perspective of 1v2s, 1v3, stuff like that. I mean, Traveler's yeah. feels really, really good because the stability is insane on it, right? Like you also have like 70 stability. But Rat King, even though it has way less range and a bit less stability, comes with a full heal. It turns you in Viz and you're only one meter off. That's it. And then you have Cryostasia, which compared to Traveler's Chosen once again, even though it's a 260, it's around the same range, but at the same time, it's like you have that insane freeze after you get a kill. Now, please keep in mind, we're discussing which one is better when it comes to range here. And as you guys can see, it's not a huge difference when it comes to damage fall off, but more range also does mean more consistency, which is very, very important. So even though fall off for these weapons starts almost at the same range, the range stat itself is still really important for easier and more consistent hits. And on top of that, all these sidearms have amazing exotic perks, and depending on your playstyle, you'll have to pick the perfect one for you. In my opinion, all of them are absolutely fantastic. And as soon as submachine guns get a nerf, sidearms will be cracked. And if I'm being honest, they already are if you take time to master them. Anyway, hope you guys enjoyed this video. We'll be doing more breakdown videos like this. And as mentioned, many sidearm and other cool builds are on the way, so stay tuned. And for all the people that don't know, I stream here on YouTube every day from Friday to Tuesday and help my viewers go flawless. So if you want to get to the lighthouse and open that shiny chest, you know where to find me. As always, ladies and gents, never forget to share that positive energy all around. Take care and I'll see you on the next one. Let's go! I mean, we literally have the best community of all time. Oh! Oh, we got no scope!